we all have to read you know communities first can't solve the problems of poverty in in Newport Central you know that's not what we're here for that's not what we're about obviously we can make our our, our contribution we can make a contribution uh, we can do our bit if you like and that's why the program has been established and that's why we've identify the projects that we need to do in 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 and with the community um i mean just some of the you know some some of the some of the top line uh, indicators that we that, that that inform our work and drive our work you know 25 percent lower income levels than than the city average um we have 16 percent of working age people claiming income related benefits um really high levels of uh, young people in not in education, employment or training. We are lower in average attainment in all key stages, key stages two, three and four. Um, and, you know, I mean, some of the other ones are things like something like 50% of adults have no formal qualifications whatsoever. So it just gives you a sense there of, of the, if you like, so the scale and the breadth and the depth of the issues that, um, that require addressing. And, as I say, we can do our, our part of that, but it obviously... You know, fairly you know, bigger fish than us, if you like, or active, whether that's uh, the economic development that's going on in the centre of town, the businesses in the area, and, uh, and another part of the schools. Um, well, we're about to publish a community involvement plan. Um, a draft is with the Welsh Government at the moment, and that does look at you know how we're going to inform people about the work we're doing. And these videos are an example of that. Uh, we'll be producing newsletters, we'll also be producing micro bulletins, smaller bulletins and hopefully we can translate those into dif different languages so that we can reach right across the communities in, in central Newport. We'll be involving people in the work that we do, whether that's um, local communities of interest or geography. We've been working with mainly action group, um, residence groups in Pill, residence groups in Stowe and of course the, the BME communities throughout the patch as well will be involving people in the work that we actually do on the ground. So when we deliver some of our courses and interventions, we'll be hoping our participants will be designing that intervention with us and actually working through and identifying the their needs so that we can start to pro provide different, um, different courses, different other forms of intervention. So for instance, a job club, we'll also be looking at how we can improve our ESOL provision but also some other skills development and whether it's construction skills or retail skills. And finally, I think, you know, we'll also be looking at how we can um, enable, facilitate people to make their own decisions about the things that are happening in their communities. And hopefully there's a piece of work there that we'll be doing with young people in Pill and in Stowe Hill. And also, if you like, the business communities in Mainly as they look at improving their district shopping centre. So there's a raft of examples in the Community Involvement Plan to say will be published, will be available for people to read and digest um, and give us comment. One of the final pieces for me really is, you know, we can't do this alone. We're not just a group of people and group of staff. It's also about like how you can contribute, whether it's through some volunteering activity, it's whether it's spreading the word about the work that we do, or whether it's um, just making sure that you know you, that, that we're not missing any people out, that we're involving in, uh, uh, as many people as we possibly can in the work that we do.